hey, it's Jody, Jody Taylor of SnackySays.com. Welcome or welcome back to my podcast, the Snacky Says Podcast. So today is a special episode because you're going to listen in on totally unrelated micro starts. Uh, I initially recorded this series called Totally Unrelated because in 2021, I was putting out newsletters. I still am. But I would have so many ideas and they wouldn't always fit in the newsletter. And the format of my newsletter was very different in 2021. I'm recording this in 2022. And so like what I wanted to say wouldn't, (laughs) just wouldn't fit in. And so then I started recording these separate things that were totally unrelated to the newsletter. So you'll hear more about that in the recording that's to follow. So I just wanted to give you a heads up as to what to expect. Uh, Please enjoy, and thanks again for listening to the podcast. Hey, it's Jody Jody Taylor of SnackySays.com. Welcome to Totally Unrelated. I am out for a walk, um, so you might you might hear some birds chirping, and maybe a little bit of traffic, but I doubt it. Uh, so what is totally unrelated? Totally unrelated is exactly what it sounds like. If you're listening to this, it's probably the second, um, link, audio recording link in your newsletter. And that link is the main newsletter and it's a totally unrelated topic. So today I, um, the reason why I'm doing this is because sometimes I think of things, I actually have a whole list of things that I want to talk about, but I'm like, ah, this is totally unrelated to this topic. So I'll save it for some other, (laughs) for some other time. Um, today we're talking about observing and micro starts and I might add something on and I thought of this because again I'm out walking and I realized at some point during this walk hey I'm walking pretty fast and I've been walking either to replace my at-home workout some days or in addition to my home workout for about six weeks I started a challenge on the Samsung Health app which is an app that I've used before. It's a lot of fun. Basically, there's a theme, like the maze theme was lavender, and it has these cute pictures and a map. And the point is, the goal is for you to walk 200,000 steps, and there are little activities like, you know, document your work intake, you get extra points, stuff like that. Gamification of, of your movement. If you're keen, check it out. Anyway, when I first started, and to be honest, of course I'm being honest, when I first started, um... And for quite a few weeks, I just strolled. Let's call it a mosey. I did these micro walks. I did hit 200,000 steps um, in May. Uh, But I did these micro walks. So like 10 minutes here, maybe 20 minutes later on in the day. And after a while, um, I thought, God, I'm, I'm walking a little slow. I might want to pick this up, but I didn't actually pick it up, but I had the thought. Sometimes I'd walk fast, but then I would slow it down again. Um, I was also listening to podcasts, but here we are six weeks later and right out the gate, (laughs) right out the door, I started walking very fast. Um, And so I gave myself the space just to be out here and to walk. And so if you're thinking, I'm going to speak specifically about walking and then branch out a bit. If you're thinking like, oh, I really want to start walking. What you can do is start with going outside and standing outside. That's what I did in the winter. The doctor said my vitamin D was low and I was like, I got to get out. So even though it was super cold, um, I, my goal was to stand outside for five minutes and then I think it was 10 minutes and sometimes it was really, really cold. So I would do like two minutes, run back inside and do another three minutes later. Um, but after a while, then I started walking back and forth um, in the driveway or on the veranda. You see where I'm going with this. So start really small, smaller than a teeny step, micro. 
I'll give you another example. And then one day, six weeks later, maybe six months later, you'll, you'll find that you're walking at a fast clip without even putting much thought into it. Um, other examples, I've done yoga, like all upset, can't get, can't get the moves all tense. And when I surrendered and decided to have fun and play and experiment and laugh if I fell out of a pose, I didn't get any better, but I had more fun. And then one day, totally unexpected, I did a move that I knew I couldn't do. And then I, I just did it without even thinking about it. Um, so let's apply that to one more thing. Let's say you signed up for an online course. And like me, you have not started it. I've been guilty of this. Um, or you haven't finished it. Or you actually haven't started the work. Let's say it's an art class. That's okay. Press play. Get into the habit of pressing play. Don't worry about getting your, spe- your sketchbook out or your pencils or paint or pen. Just watch it. And um, even if you can't watch it, just have it in the background. And in time, let's say you do that every day, in about a week, maybe you will have a moment or choose to take a moment to to really sit down and watch it. Let's say you start with it in the background and then um, you start doing it. And then you have a finished product. And if that takes days, weeks, or months, that's fine. That's better. Imperfect action, micro slow action is better than, than nothing. And I have found that to be true over and over again. So that's it. That is our first and probably not last, um, totally unrelated. So this is totally unrelated to whatever the main topic of this newsletter is. I don't know yet because I haven't recorded it. Um, but this is on my mind and I was out for a walk. And I thought we would just chat for a little bit. So what is something that you've been wanting to start? Um, Can you start that today? Could you start by observing or watching or just standing? And hey, by the way, if you want to, if you're ready to run, get out there and run. This is just simply to give yourself space and grace if there's something that you want to do and... um, you haven't quite perfected it or you just want to have more fun with it okay so again this is jody jody taylor of snacky says dot com thanks for walking with me i think i'm going to speed it up a little bit i slowed down while we were chatting um wherever you are have a great day or have a great night have a great afternoon and i thank you for listening take care